सो नमस्ते टू एवरी वन सो दिस इज अ फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ओके दिस इज अ सीरीज द नेम ऑफ द सीरीज इज ए टू जेड ऑफ इंग्लिश ओके सो टूडे वी विल कंप्लीट एडजेक्टिव ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन एज वेल एज सॉल्यूशन पार्ट of the fifth part okay so this is point number 8 seven okay here the description about certain in description is given okay certain english comparatives have lost their comparative meaning and are used as positive they cannot be followed by then these are former Later means these words are not used as comparative degree. Okay, the these words are only used as positive degree. Later, elder, hindered, apart. inner outer outer okay both the tiger and the leopard are cats the former animal is much larger than the latter okay here the 4 to 5 examples relating to this rule is given okay this is point number 88 okay certain comparatives borrowed from latin have no positive or superlative degree they all end in or or er they all end in or not er okay mm. they are they are 12 in all five of them have lost their comparative meaning and are used as positive adjectives these are interior exterior ulterior major minor okay these are the words which are used as positive only okay the exterior wall of the house is made of stone and the interior walls are of wood is age is a matter of minor importance i have no ulterior motive in offering you help the other seven are used as comparative adjectives but are followed by two instead of then okay the comparative degree is generally followed by then but comparative adjective ending in or are followed by the preposition to okay so these are the seven words which are used um 
वर्ड इज यूज इन द लास्ट ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ ई आर ओके तो आर फॉलोड बाय द प्रीपोजिशन टू इट इज सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय देन ओके हरी इज इंफीरियर टू राम इन इंटेलिजेंस ओके दिस देर आर फाइव टू सिक्स एग्जाम्पल्स आर गिवेन ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल रूल नंबर एटी नाइन ओके the 90 the next point is 90 the adjective adjectives expressing qualities that do not admit of different degrees cannot strictly speaking be compared as square round perfect external universal unique okay Uh, strictly speaking a thing cannot be more square more round more perfect but we say for instance this is the most perfect specimen i have seen okay most perfect the uh, these words are not used with the with the word more okay so example is given here so now we will do the exercise number 15 okay so the poor woman had seen happier days okay so it is positive degree okay point out the adjectives and name the degree of comparison of each okay so i have pointed out all the adjectives now we need to do uh, we need to identify the degree of comparison okay this is positive degree okay and this is comparative degree positive degree positive degree comparative 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 okay do not talk such nonsense okay such the word such has no adjectives okay no comparative de no degrees are there for the word such do you understand if you have any kind of problem then you can comment in the comment box okay if the question is relevant then i will try to answer all the questions okay and i think after the understanding i don't think anyone has any kind of query if you practice in your house if every can if you understand the rule in a proper manner i think no problem will will be there at the time of doing the questions okay you all need to do the remaining questions of each exercise i generally i have done uh, 10 to 12 question questions from i exercise okay so the remaining questions are for homework okay so do not talk such nonsense such as no degrees okay the word such as no degrees no degrees no degrees okay the next is make less noise so the word less 
has no degrees. No and degrees, okay. Hunger is the best source. Hunger is the best source. Hunger is the best source. Okay. Here, best is good, better, best. Best is superlative degree. Okay. Superlative degree. Okay. My knife is sharper than yours. Sharper is comparative degree. Okay. Comparative degree. Your son makes no progress in his studies. Your son makes no progress in his studies. Okay. Here, no is no has no degrees. Okay. No degrees. I have other things to attain to do okay here other has other is adjective but other has no degrees no. degrees okay Hari is the idealist boy in the class. Ideal, ideal, idealer, idealist. Okay. Idealist is the superlative. Degree. Idealist is the superlative. Degree. Okay. No news is good news. No has no degrees. Okay. Good is positive degree. Okay. Positive degree. Okay. Lead is heavier than any other metal. So here heavier is comparative degree. Okay. Comparative degree. Comparative degree. So now we will do the exercise number uh, 16.
in exercise number 16 and the uh, instruction is make three columns write the following adjectives in positive comparative and superlative degree okay uh, i have selected five words okay So, first word is uh, M full, okay. So, the positive degree, first we will write a sentence of positive degree, okay. Then, comparative degree and after that we will write the superlative degree, okay. M full. Period. has done Virat has done Virat has done so came full Virat has played as those came full as Rahul. Okay, so the positive degree is Virat has played. So shameful as Rahul in South Africa South Africa series Next one is comparative degree okay we got is more shameful than Rahul. Virat is more shameful than Rahul, okay? Last is Virat is the most shameful player in in the quad. Squad of Indian 
team okay the next word is clay word okay clay word by using clay word first we will clay word okay so the positive sentence is virat is as clever as rohit okay so the next one is comparative okay virat is cleverer than rohit rohit is the cleverest rohit is the cleverest player in in the indian in the indian team next word is hopeful 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 is the next word okay so the hope hopeful is the next word so the uh, first sentence of first positive sentence is hope hopeful okay hopeful the first positive sentence is he is as of full as she <coughs> he is more of full of full to then he is more hopeful than her okay he is the most of full person in the group next word is view delightful okay delightful is the next word this this is as delight delightful as 
this is as delightful as that okay this cake is more delight food than that This cake is the most delightful So last word is beautiful, okay? The positive sentence is this flower is is so beautiful as that okay here the spelling of this is wrong okay so i need to correct the spelling of this Sorry, sorry, Karen. The spelling is correct, okay. This, this has a plural form of those, okay. T H E S E. This as a this is a this, this is a plural form, okay. This those th is this is a singular form that is also a singular form this flower is so beautiful as that okay so now uh, we, uh, we will write the comparative degree okay this flower is more beautiful than that this flower is the most beautiful okay so now we will start the exercise number 17 okay We will start the exercise number 17. Good. So, here the instruction is supply the proper form comparative of superlative of adjective. Okay. Comparative or superlative of adjectives. And good is the first word. So the uh, question is how is your brother today? Okay. Is he better? 
Peter is the word okay me hot is the word okay me is hotter here than any other month okay ideal hari is the idealist idealist boy in the class okay good he is the best friend i have next is you useful okay useful are the say and the fill we need to fill the blank with useful so it is the a superlative degree okay iron is the most useful of all metals okay most useful is the answer so next is exercise in comparison number 18 okay Prevention prevention is better than cure. The pain is mightier than sword. So this pain is costlier than the other. Who is the cleverest boy in the class? Balu is the best bowler in the eleven. Okay. Mount Everest is the highest peak of the Himalaya. He is one of the greatest speakers in Punjab. Uh, Shakespeare is greater than any other English poet. Greater or better? This is the elder or eldest of my two sons. Okay. This is the utmost that I can do. This is the utmost that I can do. Okay. The mango is sweeter than the pineapple. The pineapple is less sweet than mangoes. Okay. This is exercise number 19. And the instruction is change the following sentence by using less or least with without changing the meaning. Okay. So here the Last sentence is the mango is sweeter than the pineapple. Okay, so the uh, change is changes the pineapple is less sweet than mango. Okay, the pineapple is less sweet than mangoes okay silver is more plentiful than gold okay so the and uh, the answer is gold is less plentiful than silver okay Silver is more plentiful than gold. The answer is gold is less plentiful than silver. Okay. And the next question is This is the most useless of all my books. The so answer is this is the least useful of
of all my books okay list is used for superlative degree okay and less is used for uh, comparative degree comparative as well as yes for comparative degree and iron is more useful than copper copper is less useful than iron is the answer okay so here interchange of the degree of comparison is given okay So this is a very uh, good examples all are good examples okay so uh, you all need to read all the examples okay <clears throat> I will read you a few examples okay lead is the heaviest of all metals this is the superlative degree so the comparative degree of this sentence is lead is the heavier than all other metals okay so next i will I will read a sentence which has all the three degrees. Okay. For example, superlative degree of Shakuntala is the best drama in Sanskrit. Okay. So this is the superlative degree. Okay. So the comparative degree is Shakuntala is better than any other drama in Sanskrit. Okay. Positive is no other drama in Sanskrit is so good as Sakuntala. Okay, so this sentence has, has all the three degrees. Okay, So now we will do the exercise number 20, okay? So exercise number 20, change the degree of comparison without changing the meaning, okay? So the first question is, Malacca is the oldest town in Malaysia, okay? So the degree of comparison is, this is the superlative sentence okay question is in superlative degree okay so we need to convert that superlative degree into positive and comparative okay so the 
positive sentence is no other town in malaysia is so old as malacca okay and the answer of comparative degree is malacca is older than any other town in malaysia okay this is the comparative degree okay so the next question is soya beans are at least as nutritious as meat okay this is in positive degree okay so the comparative degree is meat is not more nutritious than soya beans okay So there is no positive uh, superlative degree. Okay. Because in the domain of meal, and in the domain of uh, nutritious food, there are many food which may be more nutritious than meat and soybeans okay in this case the meat um, both both are uh, in the sentence there is no superlative word is as used okay so meat and soybean both are same nutritious okay comparison but if i want to make it a uh, make it a uh, make this sentence if i come convert this sentence into superlative degree then i can say that meat is the is the most nutritious nutritious is the most nutritious this is this will be the answer okay and the next question is question number three that is no other planet is so big as jupiter okay so the answer will be this is in in the positive sentence okay okay now so the answer will be jupiter is the biggest planet this is in superlative degree okay and the comparative degree will be jupiter is bigger than any other planet okay the next answer next question is india is the largest democracy in the world okay so the uh, it is in superlative degree so the answer will be no democracy in the world is so large as india okay this is in the positive degree so the second answer will be india is larger than any other democracy in the world and this is in comparative degree okay the next question is the sears tower is the tallest building in the world it is in superlative degree okay so we will do the we will convert this sentence into positive degree okay no other building in the world is so tall as the sears tower okay this is the answer this is the positive sentence okay <clears throat> now we will Uh, start reading the uh, defined rules okay adjective used as noun okay adjective are often used as noun okay so 
adjective can use as noun what are the situation situations when the adjectives are used as noun okay as plural noun denoting a class of persons as cautious the cautious cautious persons are not always coward okay cautious cautious is the plural noun denoting a class of person okay mm -hmm. so for example cautious person okay cautious is adjective the rich rich people know not how uh, how the poor live the rich no does not know the rich know not how the people live. I think there is a mistake. The rich does not know how the poor live. This should be the answer. Rich is rich people. Okay. Rich can be substituted by the rich people. Okay. In that case, reach will become adjective. Reach is also noun, okay? The wicked people flee when no man pursued, pursued, okay? But the righteous people are hold as a lion, as hold as a lion, okay? So the there is a and the printing is not clear okay so it is not readable this sentence is not readable so i will go to the next sentence that is as singular noun denoting some abstract quality as okay the future he is a love lover of the i do not tolerate Okay. So now I will read this point, okay? Uh, so as singular nouns denoting some abstract quality, as the future is unknown to us. He is a lover of beautiful, okay? The third point is some adjectives actually becomes become nouns and are hence used in both numbers okay those derived from proper nouns australian canadian italian okay sound denoting persons as juniors seniors um, mortals inferior superiors nobles criminals savages elders minors okay. a few things generally as secrets totals liquids solid valuable okay some adjectives are used as noun only in in the plural sweets beaters valuables eatable okay edibles in certain phases okay in certain phases means certain phases as in general in future in short in secret before before long at present for good at best to thick thick and thin okay for better or for worse in black and white <laughs> right or wrong from bad to worse the long short in future i shall change you for medical advice i shall charge you for medical advice okay so the next example is in short we know nothing okay here there are uh, 11 to 12 examples are given okay i must have your terms Comes down in black and white. Okay. So 
doing in this book one speciality of this book is a uh, uh, fast the rules are defined okay after that they will also provide you the examples this is the speciality of this book okay and so that is why this book is very beneficial for all of you okay nouns used as adjectives okay the use of noun as adjective is very common in english okay i met a little cottage girl okay he is always playing computer game computer is here in this sentence computer is computer is noun but in this sentence computer is used as adjective okay in this to in this point we get to learn uh, um, get chapter 11 that is chapter 11 we get to learn uh, how uh, a noun can be used as adjectives okay now we will uh, get into Um, chapter twelve, okay. Position of adjectives, okay. A single adjective used attribute attributively is generally placed immediate before the noun, okay. King Francis was a hearty king. And love the royal sport. Royal sport, okay. Observe the difference in in meaning between a great nobleman's son, a nobleman's great son. In poetry, however, the adjective is frequently placed after noun, okay. A children, dear, was it was it yesterday? Oh man, with sisters, dear. Children, dear, was it yesterday? In poetry, however, the adjective is frequently placed after noun. Okay. Poetry, man, in poetry, adjective is also uh, written after noun. Okay, this is a rule for poetry. This is a, this is an extra exception. Okay, so when several adjectives are attached to one noun, they are generally placed after it for emphasis. Okay, the king, fearless, res resolute, resolute. Okay. Resolute at once advance. Okay, at once advance. When some word or phrase is joined to adjective to explain its meaning, the adjective is placed after its noun. He was a man fertile in resource. He was a man fertile in resource. Ah. Uh, Chic, taller than any of his comrades. Ah, ah, ah! Chic, taller than any of his comrades. Rust forward. Okay. Now, when some words or phrases join to adjective to explain its meaning, the adjective is placed after. It's noun, okay. A chic taller than any of his comrades, okay. Rust forward, okay. These are all examples, okay. In certain phrases, adjectives always comes after noun. Here. Apparent here, apparent time immemorial, Lord 
पैरामाउंट पैरामाउंट लेटर पेरे पेटेंट लेटर पेटेंट ओके बॉडी क्वालिटी नोटरी पब्लिक ओके नोटरी पब्लिक the correct use of some adjectives okay how many to explain quantity or degree some to express express quantity or degree okay some is used normally in affirmative sentence any in negative or interrogative sentence okay um the correct use of some adjectives some any to express quantity or degree of sum is used normally in affirmative sentence or any negative or interrogative sentences okay i will buy some mangoes here sum is adjective of quantity okay but any can be used after if after if in affirmative sentence okay have you have you bought any mangoes here any is quantity adjective of quantity okay if you need any mango i will help you okay <clears throat> so any can also be used in affirmative sense okay? some is used in question which are really offers okay offers or request or which expects the answer yes okay will you have some ice cream offer like this there are three examples okay each and every each and every is demonstrative adjective we have read this okay in the previous uh, previous part okay that is fourth part of the video okay each and every are similar in meaning but every is a stronger word than each it means each without exception okay each is used in speaking of two or more things every is used only in speaking of more than two and each directs attention to the individuals forming any group every to the every to the total group okay each is used only when the number in the group is limited and definite every when every when the number is indefinite okay every is used when the number is indefinite when the number is definite we will use each okay every seat was taken okay this is an example of using every okay five boys were seated on each bench okay this is the example of each little a little the little note carefully use of little a little the little okay little not much thus the adjective little has a negative meaning little is used in negative meaning okay a little is used uh, in a positive meaning in a some some though some though not much okay some uh, though not much okay a little the meaning of the little not much but all there is means that the little information he had was not quite reliable okay so there are two exercises remaining for adjective okay so the first question relating to these concepts are exercise number 21 okay we will do exercise number 21 the grain they had was damaged by sea water grain the little grain okay it is obvious that in in this blank the answer should be the little because when sea water comes so it will it will destroy the total grain okay it is obvious so the answer should be the little okay here could have prevented the catastrophe
catastrophe catastrophe a little air could have prevented the catastrophe okay catastrophe okay the next question is blank knowledge of french that he has is likely to be very useful to him on continent the little answer should be the little okay the next next explanation is about few of you and the few uh, the, this rule these rules are similar to the little okay mm, few used in negative meaning uh, a few is used in positive meaning a few means some some and the few is used for uh, not many but all there are okay so the next exercise is exercise number 22 okay a few the few whichever is suitable that's blank public libraries that we have are not well equipped okay the few okay here the few will be used uh, blank days rest is all that is needed a few days okay answer will be a few it is a, a question of spending a few rupees when i met him uh, a, a few years uh, he looked old and hazard okay blank americans have their offers in kolkata a few americans few means some okay a few equals to some not the few because whole america uh, americans will not of uh, all americans uh, does not have the offices in kolkata okay few americans some american okay so that is why the answer will be a few okay so this makes uh, an end to the adjective we have completed the uh, parts of speech adjective okay so uh, Uh, so bye bye to all and in next video we will discuss about article okay that is another important aspect of english so we have completed two important component of english that is our first one is noun and second one is adjective okay so bye to all